Hello, everyone. It is Carol from Lily Rose Blue. Thank you for joining me today for this Thrifty Thursday video. Please hop over to Turquoise Dreaming. That's Sherry's channel. She is our host for this uh, Thrifty Thursday adventure. And uh, I will put a link to her channel below. Um, also in that link will be a place to go to look at all of the other wonderful people who participate in Thrifty Thursday. So um, I'm not sure which order I'm going to post videos, but on Friday the 13th, I had to travel to a, another town uh, between where I live and Des Moines to attend a meeting. And as I was driving on Main Street of this town. It's called Grinnell, Iowa. Grinnell College is there. Um, I saw a shop that said rummage and I'm like, oh, yay. Okay. And then I'm thinking, oh, I hope this meeting gets done before that store closes because I just wanted to check it out. So I did. I was able to go there. Um, this is what I found there. So it's it's a fairly small shop, but just it's just so fun to find a new place, right? So besides these things here, um, I did get myself to uh, a sweater and a athletic top, um, you know, so I was pretty happy with that. So once again, I purchased some cards, um, did not spend that for for these. But here, here's the card. Isn't this gorgeous? I got that. You are, an, you are an outstanding mom. How many people need to be reminded of that? Mom, you are my idol, my role model, my teacher. Look at this Mother's Day card. Happiness blooms where seeds of love and joy are planted. I just... So I'm seeing these for the first time. I took a gamble because of the price. I think it was marked $1.50 or $1.75. Um, this is very nice as well. Oh, to a lovely mom. There's some envelopes. So do we hire an entire crisis management team or just get a mom? Uh, yeah. How many of us can relate to that? So that's that same card. Here's, there's some repeats in here, it looks like. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. We might not get to spend as much time together as we used to, but I love that we still stay so connected no matter how much time goes by. Look at uh, her reading that vintage McCall's and... Maybe Ladies Home Journal? I can't quite tell what the girl has there. But I'm happy with this purchase. There are so many, like the vibrant colors on that are just great. Let's see if there's anything else that we... There's a duck. How cute is that? There's that card again. Oh, here's a grandma card with the, with the grandma bunny and little bunny. Oh. Makes me think of my grandkids. Very nice. That card again a few times. Those. So I think that's, and of course, lo lots of lovely envelopes. So I'm happy with that purchase. There was also this gorgeous piece of uh, wrapping paper. Look at the cardinals and the chickadees and the berries, uh, Christmas paper. I just thought it was gorgeous. So I got that. And then, you know, this is a little um, horses. You guys know me and horses. So just look at some of these wonderful images in this, in this book. So I had to get it for my horse journals, right? Be fearless. Oh, I love that one. I love that one. You kind of have to be a little fearless sometimes when you're dealing with those big, big animals. 
you certainly, I've come to learn, you really do have to show them who's boss. Because they're so big, and they will take charge if you don't. So, that is that haul from that store. Then I stopped at my local Goodwill, I think the next, maybe the next day? No, this had to have been before that. I'm not sure when I went. Um, I had a really busy weekend. Um, the 13th was my son-in-law's birthday. This was the first birthday that he celebrated as our son-in-law. So that was extra special. Plus it was Friday the 13th, right? So we met up with with uh, he and my daughter, granddaughter, his uh, parents, um, an aunt and uncle of his, and then a friend of his joined us too. So um, wonderful time together. That was great. And then on Saturday, um, we went back to my hometown in Illinois and um, spent time with, uh, it was to celebrate my great nephew's 17th birthday. But uh, also got to see my brother and his girlfriend, um, the nephew, his wife, and then this is his son, and then the great my great niece too, as well as some other family actually on my uh, sister in law's side that we're just we we're just also very close with them as well, even though they're not related by blood. They are. And then Parker's other grandparents were there too. So we had a wonderful time there. So long winded story to tell you. Now I can't remember when I would have gone shopping because it's been a very busy weekend. Um, here is a, you know me, cookbook journal. Look at this. And this is in wonderful shape. It's not dirty at all. I'm not going to have to do a gosh darn thing. This can be my cover. Um, it has, look at the inside. Not going to have to do anything. It's got this lovely market list that I may just leave there. And then um, tabs. And then inserts that you could put recipes into. So I might leave some of those inserts to put recipe cards in and then we'll probably add some images to that so I was super excited to find that and then today so you're getting okay we're not doing bad on time at all um, this was my thrifting today pardon the rustling pardon the rustling I apologize um so another quick story. Um, it is Monday, the 16th, Martin Luther King Day. And uh, I have it off of work because it is one of our holidays that we celebrate uh, at, at uh, work. And um, it is, again, January 16th, and it is 55 degrees out. And we did have uh, potential bad weather. And lo and behold, I am in this thrift store and the tornado warning siren goes off. So yes, indeed, a tornado was spotted kind of uh, southwest of Amana that I've talked about. I like to go antiquing there. Um, and ironically, I had, I was this close to going there to do some antiquing today and I decided not to. And I'm glad I didn't because... Um, there were tornadoes spotted in that area. So Iowa being 55 in January makes absolutely no sense. And I will tell you that snow is in the forecast for Wednesday. What can you say? Right? So um, let me let me unwrap this a little bit away from the speaker here. So I have been waiting to find some of these old scissors. Um, they cut so much better than scissors now. They had a couple of other pair, and I 
it was hard to test them out because of the way that the, they have the tag here, but um, I'm kind of already regretting that I did not get it another pair that was there. So this seems to work really well though. The other pair was a little stickier than this, so I left it behind. I don't know. I am super excited and I think, yeah, these were $2. Uh, two red doilies, again, thinking, and these are not very old, I don't think, honestly. Um, 50 cents a piece. These are for my cookbook junk journals. I have a plan. I saw uh, this, the Galesburg Piano Company, Galesburg, Illinois, which is about 30, about 30 miles from my hometown, um, where I grew up in Illinois, and this is in West Central Illinois. But the graphics here are gorgeous, and look, when you, like $200 piano purchase, look at the patina of these pages. I don't know if you can quite tell. Um, let me see if I can find a year. I don't think I'm going to. Ten cents was the price. I paid twenty-five cents for this for this pamphlet. I just thought it was gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Lombard pianos are the best. Here's the Star Spangled Banner. That may have to come out and go right into my um Fourth of July patriotic. Battle Hymn of the Republic. Um, this is a song that I still have a hard time listening to because it was one of the songs we played at my father's funeral. Um, as he was in World War II and took great pride in that. Excuse me. I had to take a drink. So we uh, played that at his funeral. And yeah, it's still upsets me. Here's my old Kentucky home. Old folks at home. Old Lang Syne. The old oaken bucket. The vacant chair. The soldier's farewell. So old older songs as well. So I got that. 25 cents. Yay. I have not been looking at the postcards um, at this thrift store because I have an abundance of them. However, because the tornado siren was going off and they really weren't letting people leave the store, which is a smart decision, uh, I stood in line waiting to check out, waiting to leave, and uh, I looked through the postcards. And I just thought this was a gorgeous postcard for my Christmas ephemera. I don't think it's very old. Um, this says the Hart Cluet Mansion Entrance in Troy, New York. But I got that. And then look at this gorgeous older horse postcard. Um, couldn't, could not resist that. It's been, you know, and this is brittle, but I didn't care. The other thing I will say is um, I have been tearing up some of my books to cut out images and get, you know, get them ready to make junk journals. And I do that a lot when I'm watching actually junk journaling or thrifting videos. It's, you know, kind of those I get to do two things I love at once, right? But I am being more picky because of that process and my shelf space. Um, there's probably were three or four books that ultimately I decided to leave on the shelf. Um, I may be sorry about that, but this is Specialties of the House, a collection of Yonkers family recipes. Yonkers was a department store around this area. I'm guessing that's the Yonkers that they are referring to, but there, there really isn't any... Um, indication of that. But as you can tell from the photos, uh, this does have some age. 
It's also got the lovely binder. Um, look at that. Isn't that a gorgeous, the colors and the layout of that? Soups and salads. Look at that with the tulips. Here's your desserts and pies and cakes. Cook candies, bars, and cookies. Mm, just, it looks good, and I loved the images in this book, so I got that, and I think I got it, yeah, $1.50. Uh, Country Living, that's a magazine. I used to subscribe to that, and then um, I went on a tangent and quit subscribing to magazines because they would lay around my house, and now... I do get two each month again. Uh, I am strongly considering canceling one of them. Um, just because I read it, I enjoy it in the moment, but I don't use it after the fact like I would. It's, it um, is a cooking magazine. Um, so I may get rid of that. The other one that I get that I just love that I'm not going to get rid of is my HD TV <laughs> magazine. Have to have that. I just love it. I love it. So this is Country Living, uh, Country Gardens, Old Flash and Flowers, Modern Techniques, Timeless Beauty. Look at the sunflower uh, inside. Hopefully I can keep that intact. Um, this is ISBN 0688. 106196. And let's see if we can find a copyright. Isn't that cute? Just a little birdhouse and a patriotic hat. Um, 1993. So it's got a little bit of age, but not a lot. And I apologize for the glare. But even these little images, you know, you could cut up and and use in your junk journals. Look at this. I love that bucket, galvanized bucket with flowers in it. I, I think that's just so pretty as well. Sorry, I'm going to move. This is my, uh, it's a china cup that um, I have still have some that I drink my tea out of. But the um, handle came off, and so I converted it into a, here's some milk pogs, key, some of those keys you saw, um, some charms, um, a tag. Just beautiful images here. Doesn't this look like a place you'd love to just sit and have some tea or coffee and talk with a friend? Look at that porch. Oh, and the colors. So I thought there was a lot that I could do with this. And, oh, so pretty. I, I did go ahead and get that book. I also got this book, England 2010, Cathedrals, Churches, and Beautiful Places by Carl Wicker. Let's see if we can find. So this is the Thames in Southwark. Let's look at some of these images. Now, I enjoy architecture, and I'm guessing most junk journalers do as well. Um, so I think the architecture in Europe is just, is just gorgeous. Um, so let's just look at all of these images. So I got this. 
Um, I did not have any plan of doing any kind of a junk journal with churches or stained glass or castles or anything, but, you know, this book may, may change my mind. Sorry for the glare. Um, it's sunny outside, and I think it's impacting the video quality in a not great way. So this is the uh, last item in my thrift video for today. I thank you all for watching. Um, thank you all for subscribing. Again, always support um, junk journalers by hitting like and subscribe on their videos and their channels. Um, check out Sherry's uh, Thrifty Thursday list and go check out some of those other junk journalers as well. And I wish you all the best and happy rest of January to you. Take care. God bless.